I'm Kylie. I'm Megan. And I'm Michaela. And we're going to teach you about the Louisiana Purchase. The U.S. made the purchase of Louisiana Territory by Thomas Jefferson in 1803. We wanted to expand some more land and add in Louisiana would almost double our land in size. And that would be a huge thing for the country. We bought Louisiana for $15 million total, or three cents per acre. We bought it for the French because we wanted more land. People wanted to be able to move west. Some would disagree and say that we shouldn't have bought Louisiana. Some thought Thomas Jefferson was making a bad choice for buying the land. Aww. But if you think about it, he got it for a good price, and so the area wouldn't be too crowded, and he wanted the country to go. So as many others believed, he did it for the right reason. Yay! After we bought the land, we needed someone to explore it and know what was going on. Lewis and Clark would be these explorers. Their journey would be long and hard with little food and little water. The expedition went from 1804 to 1806. Lewis started alone in Pittsburgh, and months later, Clark joined in present-day Indiana. Lewis and Clark were given orders to make peace with the Indians. Some people think that Lewis and Clark went there to harm the Indians. When Lewis and Clark left, many Indians got diseases that Lewis and Clark brought, and many of them died. Although Lewis and Clark cannot control that they brought diseases, people think they did it on purpose to kill off the Indians. Lewis and Clark traveled to many different states on their journey, such as Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. As Lewis and Clark traveled through one of the states, North Dakota, they met a woman and her husband. The woman's name was Sacagawea. She was 17 years old and pregnant. In 1804, when Lewis and Clark were traveling through North Dakota, Sacagawea would join their expedition and help by being a translator while they talked to Indians. When Lewis and Clark would like to communicate with the Indians, Sacagawea would tell them what needed to be said, then talk back to Lewis and Clark with what the Indians would say back. That way, they could communicate without speaking the same language. She also told them about the geography of where they were traveling and all about the plants and animals. The Lewis and Clark Trail ended in 1806, and that's one of the reasons that our country has extended into what it is today.